uh, name is uh, Scott. Scott, this is good man in the in the uh, England. Why pay rent when you can sell your merchandise on the side of the road? I like their style. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Sadiqe. <laughs> Uh, Suina, Suina Mustache. Do you speak Spanish or...? Un poquito. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That right there is the skin of a snake. That's my first evidence of a snake in Morocco. Uh-oh, I might be in snake country, guys. Bye-bye, Bislama, Bislama! <laughs> He's still waving to me, he's so nice. Okay, guys, I cannot believe what's just happened. I was on the road, and then my new friend Sadiqe, salam alaikum. He, he waved at me, he said, come, come. Yalla, yalla. It's a sad day, guys. It's time to say bislama. It's time to say goodbye to the beautiful Wazazat. It's time to move on to a new city, and my next destination is Zagora. Yes. It's very beautiful. beautiful. Hafidi? Yeah. Hafidi. Yes? Do you have any final words? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are in, uh, we are in uh, one of the beautiful uh, cities in Morocco. This is uh, Warzazat. And uh, uh, good man, uh, name is uh, Scott. Scott, this is good man in, the, in the, uh, England. Thank you so much, Hafidi. He's a good man. <laughs> He's, uh, he's working at the hostel, very friendly man. But in my opinion, he works too much. Thank you. He doesn't get paid enough. Okay, goodbye, Hafidi. Thank you. Goodbye. Off to Zagora we go. But before I start the journey, I need to make sure I'm nice and hydrated. And what better way to do that than by having some delicious orange juice? Unfortunately, there is no gentleman here. One eternity later. It's not looking good, guys. I've been waiting here for the past two minutes. Nobody has turned up. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Get off my microphone. Let's have a closer look at that. <laughs> Get off my microphone. <laughs> As you can see, guys, I'm currently crossing over this bridge. And I was hoping to appreciate a gushing river, but as you can see, there is absolutely no water in sight. So on the side of the road here, guys, I've seen this little pop-up shop. I don't know if you can call it a shop, but it's selling everything, every single tool under the sun. You even got these mean looking bolt cutters, a hydraulic jack over there. Look at it, it's literally just on the side of the road. Here's the road, here's this tool shop. Why pay rent when you can sell your merchandise on the side of the road? I like their style. Before any adventure, it's always important to set off on a full stomach. So as I've walked up this road here, along the road in the direction of where I'm going, Zagora, I've come across these restaurants here. And after going inside and going to and fro with not one employee, not two, but three, doing my best to explain what I what I would like. In the end, it turns out they only have omelette and bread. Not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for something a little bit more Moroccan, but then again, I feel like each country has its own individual style and approach when they are making omelette. So with that said, I'm quite intrigued to see what comes. And let's be honest. Oh, shukran busuf. Okay, wow, looks good. Benin, Benin. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Sadiqe. <laughs> oh, she's a nice woman. As I was doing that giant speech about omelettes, maybe the longest speech in history about omelettes, look what's arrived. Speak of the devil, the omelette is here. Firstly, that's a giant omelette. Secondly, it's got a lot of seasoning to it and a lot of oil. Look at, oof. Look at that for some oil. Woo. They're being extremely generous with the oil there, maybe too generous for my liking. And then of course some bread. The way in which I communicated with the man before is by speaking Spanish. So he said to me, pan. Pan is how you say bread in Spanish. So I said, si, por favor. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to try the omelette for the first time. Let's get straight in there. It's quite awkward doing it with just one hand. But as you can see, the bread, the reason they have so much, I believe it's probably olive oil, is so that it, the bread soaks it up. All right, here we go. Bon appetit.
It's definitely olive oil. So that's a good thing, that's a relief. It's actually really nice. I've never tasted an omelette like this. This is why I said each country has their own style of omelette. Usually, guys, I'm not a big fan of omelettes. And the reason I'm not a big fan of omelettes usually is because whenever I make it, it just turns out really plain and bland and not exciting. But this one was so flavorsome. I would never think about putting olive oil on an omelette, but it really worked well. I really enjoyed that. Sadike, what is your name? Your name? Uh, Smith. Me, I'm Scott. Two? Uh, yeah, you, me, I'm Mohammed. I'm a oh, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, Mohammed. <laughs> nice. Mohammed as. Mustache. Swina. Swina Mustache. Do you speak Spanish or.? Un poquito. No, no, yo, yo, yo. Ah, oh, you papa. Yeah. Oh, mashallah. Oh, beautiful. Three. Three. Four, inshallah. Uh, inshallah. inshallah. Ah, okay. <laughs> of course, guys, since Mohammed's cafe is called Coffee Time, it's only right that I actually try the coffee before I go. So I think that's what's happening now. Okay, here we go, guys. For, for me, uh, Mohammed. Oh, shukran, Basif. We go so much. Okay. This one, um, espresso, cappuccino. Espresso. Ah, ex oh, okay. Whoa. Shaking hand. No, it's not good. Nice, it's good. It's good. It's I like. I bueno. like. Me gusta mucho. It's the sugar. Ah, okay. Sugar, good. Por favor. Yes, good. Okay, here we go, guys. Salud. 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 Ah, bisaha, bisaha. Yes. Good, strong. Yes, it's good, it's good. Okay. Woo. Woo. Nice. Yes, yes, it's good. Subhanallah. <laughs> Once again, another beautiful, wholesome interaction with my new friend Mohammed. So yeah, as you can see, I'm back on the road. Mohammed was kind enough to give me another bottle of water because I finished my previous one. I need to double check my Google Maps, but I believe Zagora is in this direction. Whew, it's getting a little bit warmer, guys. The plan, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna try and hitchhike to Zagora. It should be easy enough. People have been extremely kind to me so far, and there's plenty of traffic heading in this direction. Okay, here we go, guys. We got this white car. All right, I think this car was actually full. That's not a problem. Have a safe journey, guys. Aha, khoya, assalamu alaikum. Salam. Good, you're doing good, my friend. Keep it up. That's amazing. I just want to make something clear. The reason why I'm hitchhiking is because, firstly, it's an adventure. Secondly, look, I get to appreciate the nature at a much slower pace and it's a way to interact with the locals and it's also a good way to show you guys at home just how kind the moroccan people are there's a motorbike coming this could be us got a good feeling about this one i don't know he pointed at the ground as if to say he's stopping very soon There was a lady in the car, so again, not really culturally acceptable to pick up another man, especially a stranger like me. Oh. That was the army, guys. <laughs> there was two soldiers in the front. Do you want to hear an interesting fact, guys? The city of Zagora is 150 kilometers in this direction. So that is quite a distance. I didn't realize it was that far. Guys, come on, just pick me up. And gone like the wind.
cannot believe it guys. Everything happened so quickly then that I forgot to turn on my microphone. So I cannot share our conversation, but my new friend, his name is Abdul Rahman. He is living here. He's got a beautiful home. Bye bye, Bislama, Bislama. <laughs> He's still waving to me. He's <laughs> so nice. And yeah, that was great. We've made a little bit of progress. All right, that's probably, I don't know, a good, a good few kilometers. Let's say five kilometers. So, <laughs> still quite a way to go, but it's something, it's a start, right? And we've got a new environment, pretty similar to before. During that short ride with my new friend, Abdul Rahman, he chose to drive with the windows up and with no air conditioning on. And it was literally like a sauna in there. I was sweating so profusely. Right, guys, are you ready to see something cool? That right there is the skin of a snake. I know that snakes go through a process where they shed their skin naturally over the course of time. So what we can see here, it's probably not a dead snake. I'm not entirely sure it might be. It might have been flattened by a car. That's my first evidence of a snake in Morocco. Uh-oh, I might be in snake country, guys. Holy crap. That guy was going fast. He had no intention to stop for me. I need more people like my friend Abdul Rahman. Come on, where are you? I really hope I'm wrong in my suspicion and I don't want to jinx myself by talking about this subject. But up above, the sky does look a little bit overcast. And whilst Morocco is a largely dry country, that doesn't mean rain is impossible. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect, thank you. Shukran Busaf, Bissaha. Your name? Smitech? Ibrahim. Ah, Ibrahim. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Okay, guys, I cannot believe what's just happened. I was on the road, and then my new friend Sadiqay, salam alaikum. He, he waved at me, he said, come, come. Yalla, yalla. 